In the world of superheroes, there are really only two names that matter, Marvel and DC. They're the oldest names in the game, and they of course have the most iconic characters. This is true in both the comic book world and the movie world. Now sure, there have been some other publishers who have had some breakthroughs with certain characters to varying degrees of success. But at the end of the day, it all reverts back to the big two. But this year, a new challenger approaches. Valiant Entertainment has been quietly putting out one of the best comic book universes since 2012. And in 2020, they're posed to take a strike at the big screen, creating their own superhero cinematic universe with Bloodshot, starring the Iron Giant himself. But who are Valiant Entertainment exactly? And what is a Bloodshot? Well, if you give me about 10 minutes or so, I should be able to give you some information and hopefully get you up to speed before the movie comes out. So initially this video was just gonna be a bloodshot primer, something to give you a little bit of information on the character before you go see his movie in March. But as I was writing the script for this episode, I began to realize that in order to talk about bloodshot, I should probably also talk about the character's publisher. Valiant has been a quiet powerhouse in the comic book industry for years, but much like everything that's not Marvel or DC in the comic book world, most people just don't know about it. Well, hopefully I can change things today and inspire at least some of you to go out and check out not only Bloodshot, but some other Valiant titles as well, because Valiant has been putting out a lot of great comic books over the years, and a lot of them slightly outside the typical superhero norm. So back in 1989, former Marvel editor-in-chief Jim Shooter, along with lawyer Steven Marsaski, formed Voyager Communications. After a failed bid to actually purchase Marvel Comics, they launched their own comic book line, Valiant Comics. Valiant's first comic title was published in 1991 and was Magnus Robot Fighter. Now Magnus and a lot of other early Valiant titles were actually licensed from Gold Key Comics. Valiant's first true original character was Rai, the Japanese spirit guardian from the 41st century. From there, Valiant would go on to create a whole slew of unique and instantly iconic superheroes such as Ninjak, Harbinger, Dr. Mirage, and of course, Bloodshot. We'll come back to him in a moment. In 1994, Valiant was purchased by Long Island's own Acclaim Entertainment. Yes, the defunct video game publisher. Acclaim bought Valiant with the hopes of having a slew of in-house IP to make video games out of. And to their credit, they actually did make video games out of some Valiant properties. We got Shadow Man, we got Armory's Project Swarm, hell, Turok, was a Valiant Gold Key release. That's why we got a slew of Turok titles during that era. Valiant was later rechristened as Acclaim Comics and still put out a lot of really good high quality books, but unfortunately they closed down in the early 2000s due to their parent company's ongoing financial issues. However, in 2005, entrepreneurs Dinesh Shamdazari and Jason Kathari bought all the Valiant assets from Acclaim for themselves. They didn't buy the Gold Key properties though, those reverted back to the original licensors. That's why Valiant doesn't make Turok comics, Dynamite actually makes those comics. Although, Valiant might be making Turok comics again. That's what they're hinting at, at least. Anyway, in 2012, Valiant officially returned as Valiant Entertainment, and since then, they've been putting out great, high-quality comics set within their own comic book universe, featuring all the original Valiant characters, like Exo Man of War, Archer and Armstrong, and of course, Bloodshot. Bloodshot was one of the original Valiant superheroes, created in 1992 by Kevin Van Hook, Don Perlin, and Bob Layton. He originally appeared in the pages of Eternal Warrior and Rai before getting his own ongoing series the following year. In the original run, Bloodshot was Angelo Mortali, a mob hitman who is about to go into witness protection, but is then betrayed and kidnapped. He's forced to be part of Project Rising Spirit, a program in Japan that pumps its subjects with nanomachines in order to create the perfect soldier. These nanomachines, or nanites as they're called in the series, work to rebuild Angelo from the ground up, repairing any wound or injury he may incur. He can also control electronic devices and alter his own body for maximum efficiency. However, Project Rising Spirit erases Angelo's memory and replaces them with new ones to carry out secret missions. Eventually, Angelo learns of this deception 
goes rogue and seeks revenge not only against Rising Sun, but all of those who have wronged him. Now that's the original Bloodshot. The modern day Bloodshot from the 2012 relaunch by Dwayne Swierczynski, Manuel Garcia, and Ataro Lozzi pretty much shares a lot of the same aspects of the original, the powers and the amnesia, but the person who Bloodshot is and some of the backstory is a little different. The modern Bloodshot doesn't really know who he is. He thinks he's Ray Garrison, a former soldier who got roped into joining Project Rising Spirit. This time around, there's more of a focus by the project to try and suppress the emotions and desires of their soldiers so they can perform their missions with greater efficiency. Bloodshot still eventually learns that he's being manipulated and brainwashed, but rather than piecing it together himself, he has help from a character called Kerchik and allying him with other Valiant characters like Toyo Harnada and the Harbingers in a battle against Rising Spirit. Now admittedly, this is just a basic overview of the character of Bloodshot. There's a lot going on with this character, even in the beginnings of his story. What with the sci-fi technology that powers him, all the memory erasing that goes on, and the inclusion of the other Valiant characters, it can be a lot to take in, even for an origin story. But even still, Bloodshot is a fascinating character, somebody who's able to rebuild not just his body and his memories, but his life as well, trying to make it something of his own rather than what his controllers want it to be. Now, the fact that other Valiant characters are involved with Bloodshot's origin is one of the best things about the Valiant universe. Since its current inception, they put a lot of effort into trying to create a shared universe between titles, very similar to what Marvel and DC have, and they've done so very successfully. Part of Bloodshot's origin is tied to the Harbinger Wars, which was the very first big crossover event that Valiant put out since its relaunch in 2012. Since then, Bloodshot would appear in other company-wide crossovers like the Armor Wars, Unity, and The Valiant, giving this universe a great sense that it's lived in and alive. It's this mentality that seems to be going into the Bloodshot movie, coming out on March 13th. From the looks of it, it looks like it's going to be taking the best elements of both incarnations of the character to try and create something definitive and universal for a much larger audience. Vin Diesel plays Rex Garrison, an ex-Marine enhanced by sci-fi tech and being manipulated by Guy Pearce, and eventually learns the truth and tries to break free. This sounds pretty much exactly like it does in the comics. Sure, there are minor changes being made, like Project Rising Spirit is now the RST Corporation, but everything seems to be in line with what we see in the source material. Now, the most interesting aspect of this movie to me is the potential opening of the door to the larger Valiant universe on the big screen. Admittedly, Bloodshot is not my favorite character from Valiant. I was always more into Ninjak, Archer and Armstrong, especially Quantum and Woody. But then again, I wasn't the biggest Thor fan when the first movie came out, and now I rush to see every single Thor movie immediately. So hopefully Bloodshot will follow along those lines and at least get me interested in a character I only had passing interest in previously, especially if this means it will lead to a much larger Valiant universe. But then again, things might not be as simple as it would appear. Bloodshot is being put together by Sony Pictures and initially they had a deal to make movies based on all of Valiant's properties. However, Harbinger got moved to Paramount Pictures, and the Russo brothers are developing a separate Quantum and Woody television series over on TBS. Allegedly, the next Valiant comic that Sony is going to adapt is Faith. So maybe a big Valiant cinematic universe akin to Marvel isn't exactly in the cards right now. But hopefully Bloodshot does do well enough that we eventually get to see more Valiant characters either on the big screen or on television, and that wouldn't be a bad thing. Variety is good for everybody, and it would be nice to see Valiant carve out a nice little niche for itself in movies and television, just like it was able to do in the comic book world. Unless, of course, it's a mummy level disaster. I mean, Sony is the one releasing this film, and do you remember the last time they tried to just shoehorn a cinematic universe into a movie? didn't end too well. But are you guys excited for Bloodshot? Are there other Valiant comic characters that you think are more worthy to be the first Valiant character to make it to the big screen? Or are there any other lesser known comic book properties that you think should be made into movies? Let me know down below. 
or anywhere on the internet. Valiant does have a lot of really cool comics that would make great movies. Exo Man of War could be their answer to Iron Man. Shadow Man would be a really sweet, spooky, supernatural type film. Eternal Warriors would be a really cool sword and sorcery picture. Ninjak is essentially James Bond if he was also a ninja. Or you know what, forget the Quantum and Woody TV show, just make that a big budget live action movie and cast William Jackson Harper as Quantum and Matt Jones as Woody. Yes, I have given this a lot of thought. If you wanna know more about Bloodshot before the movie comes out, I have Amazon affiliate links in the description below to some good Bloodshot comics I think you'll enjoy. Now, admittedly, Valiant has sort of relaunched Bloodshot's ongoing a whole bunch of times since 2012, but I think there's a good selection down there for you to catch up and know more about the character and be prepared for March 13th. And of course, don't forget that we have new videos on this channel every single Tuesday and Wednesday, with Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern also being Wolf Den Live. So subscribe to see all of that, like this video, and share it with a friend. Any friend, it doesn't matter who. Non-Marvel and non-DC videos don't really do as well on YouTube, and I can use all the eyes I can get. Thank you all for watching though, and I will see you next time.